Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Chili. I am going to do a double header vlog tonight. First up, I got my guys coming from the west side, uh, Millennium, going to play Campo Verde. So I am super excited to check this game out because I keep hearing about this running back, Zeus Pinder. Pinder Nation. You know, I'm told that I only need to watch him for a quarter and he'll get loose. So I need to see a running back that is that electric. Campo Verde typically has a very structured program from top to bottom. Um, them boys, they got that buy-in factor over there. Coach Freeman currently uh, running the varsity. I'm not sure who's running the freshman team over there. They have some hardworking kids, super blue collar. So I'm super excited to go check out this Campo Verde squad and see what they got going on on the ground level. Um, this will be fun. Also, I will be checking out another squad from the West from the way out west. Uh, Mayor Steven Ortiz Jr. has asked me to come check out this uh, talented Desert Edge freshman squad. You know, I love it when uh, the older kids sell the younger programs. He absolutely loves this receiver, Escalante, and he thinks that this uh, quarterback, Arredondo, might be the future after obviously Adrian Lara leaves. So I am super excited to check out this DE team. They play Mesa, so I am gonna go check out Zeus Pinder and uh, these boys from Millennium. This youth movement over at Millennium, Coach Early is high on his uh, 23 and 24 classes. His 23 class is bananas, so he, uh, he rightfully so, hey, rightfully so. And obviously uh, the Carter brothers, uh, Steven Ortiz Jr., um, Desert Edge, they're serious. So hey, make sure that you guys leave a comment. Let me know who I need to go check out. Let me know who's missing on my watch list. You can find it at ArizonaVarsity.com. The link will be down there in the description. Um, make sure that you click on that, check it out, see if your name's there. If it's not, let me know who you are so I can come find you. Comments, likes, subscribe. Take care of your boy that takes care of your boys. Uh, JustChili.tv and also follow your guy Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at JustChili. Uh, Y'all know what it is. Your boy Chili, I'm out of here. Forks up forever. I'll catch you all at Campo Verde. 20 minutes later. All right, just pulled up to Campo Verde. See all my little Campo Verde people right here. Some of these uh, offensive linemen, running backs, I guess. Athletes of the sorts, you already know what it is. Anyways, uh, going to check in with this freshman game. I need to see uh, this dude, Zeus Pinder. The Zeus Pinder Show, Pinder Nation. Millennium, Campo Verde. Hey, Millennium, don't say I don't show that love. Holy smokes, I guess I gotta be the guy, Zeus Pinder. Hello, welcome to the conversation. At just Chili's watch list just grew by one. My man Ethan Ferber getting in on that uh, touchdown action. Campo Verde, exactly who I thought they were. They're gonna grind teams down. They're gonna play physical. Another Caden Calloway on the way? Maybe. Hey, this running back over here, the new you, Ethan Ferber. I mean, like you said, he runs hard. You were just telling me about him on the sideline. Yeah, he, he runs pretty good. He's strong and he's fast. Now, are you working with him at all? Like, are you doing any extra stuff? Like, I know you're on varsity and he's on freshman. Um, I worked with him a little bit over the summer, and then I'm trying to, whenever whenever him and the other JV kid have time, I, I try to get him out and do something with him. 550 plus yards rushing, uh, what is it, five touchdowns, and you know, we're only halfway through the season. Um, I'm feeling good. Our line, our line is really, they're, they're playing well. If you, if you watch any of that, we're giving out stickers. We got little stickers on the back. Hey! We're, we're, we're 
they're giving them out for pancakes and so oh of, no way so some okay. of them got they have a lot of stickers right okay now. okay who's got the most stickers right now i love this pancake thing you got going on i think i think freddie goodson our dn and receiver um he i think he has the most and i know garcia's uh, handling that business yeah no he's he's getting after it every game he's gone out there and he's he's balled out he's played really well last year you guys had that magical run uh you guys went all the way to this uh, state championship what can we expect this year and how are you going to duplicate that um, I think we're just gonna every every week take take it a week at a time. We're just gonna play hard, play that team. That's all we're focused about. Who's who's next? That Friday game. I think uh, that's all we need. Just one team at a time, and we're just gonna stack them up, build them up. How's school going? Uh, what's your favorite class? Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, school school's going pretty good right now. I think I'm gonna have to give it to Mr. Fraser and Econ. Yeah, dude, all my oh, yeah. all my football players loving their economics I'm classes and econ stuff. This year. Why? What, what's so cool about the class? He's really engaging. Like he tries to like really get everyone kind of focused, and his lessons are always interesting. Like it's not always a interesting topic, you know, talking about money and stuff. Okay. But he's always doing his best to get us there. Hey, my man, Ethan Ferber, second uh, tub of the night. Just living in the end zone. All right, I'm taking off from Campo Verde. Uh, this turned into a running back showcase with uh, my man, Ethan Ferber from Campo Verde and Zeus Pinder from Millennium. 8.01 p.m. All right, officially made it over here to Mesa to check out the second half of Desert Edge versus Mesa. This is going to be exciting because, like I said, I get to check out Arredondo, and this, he's going to be the next guy. That's what Steven Ortiz said, so I got to believe him and also this young Desert Edge defense. This will be fun to watch. Desert Edge defense does their job and uh, we're gonna bring out this Desert Edge offense, this young Scorpion offense. Arredondo does most of the damage with that long run, but man, this running back just, you know, jumped right in the end zone, saw the opportunity, went right through that line. Ooh, like right in the face. He got that one right in the face. My man number 40 for Desert Edge is a serious problem. He's in that backfield all the time. Oh, you can't hold my man like that. Ooh, Mason with some tough defense gets the ball back on a fumble. Ooh, got to wait for my man to get the ball at first. All right, fourth quarter, it is 35 to six right now in this uh, Desert Edge defense, which has been kind of stingy. And number 40, kind of a baller. They ain't holding on that play. I hope we can do that again. Ooh. 
Well, that's a different kid, but I think he's breaking. Another fumble. Desert Edge defense gonna come back on the field, try to get this back for their offense. We're gonna try to let this one fly. Okay, I see you. All right, so Desert Edge wins this one, 35 to six, and they remain undefeated. Arredondo, Warner, and these boys, they look serious. Nice little foundation for Desert Edge. Let me catch up with some of the guys. And what's it like uh, being a part of this Desert Edge team? It's a very good opportunity. It's a good school. Just got to fit into the shoes of the D1 quarterback. Speaking of which, you know, what's the mentorship been like between you and Adrian? And he helps me with a lot. He teaches me what I didn't know. He's helped me learn a lot. He's a good mentor. What's your favorite class? Who's your favorite teacher? Uh, I'd have to say Spanish just because I already know it and it's the easiest for me. Hey, hey, I'm not mad at that. Hey, sometimes you gotta, you know, yeah. go with what you know you know best, right? Yeah. So, hey, adios. All hey, right. obviously, you know, you got the great relationship with your quarterback. You know, how did that stem? It felt really good. You know, uh, he knows I always be open. He can basically trust me. So the chemistry is right. Yeah, the chemistry. the chemistry is right. Okay, you guys are just like rolling through all these teams. You guys get a tough game next week versus Sunrise. Yeah. What are you expecting? I'm expecting their DBs to talk a lot and, you know, expect to stop us. He's got to go show out. You know, it's Halloween time. I'm curious, you know, what was your favorite treat to get when you were out there trick-or-treating, which was like last year, so. Uh, probably like King Size Reese's. Reese's hey, I'm not mad candy. at that. Hey, yeah. me, I love candy. I'm going to miss all the trick-or-treating this year. Besides undefeated, what are some of your personal goals this year? Uh, probably to build a great bond with these guys. You know, we're going to be with them the next four years. Build a great bond, you know, with our coaches and our players. And in practices, do you ever get those opportunities to go with some of them varsity DBs, go, go head to head? Uh, not yet. You know, I'm waiting for it. You know, I'm waiting for my opportunity. Hey, you trying you trying to see Steven Ortiz in that one-on-one yeah. -on -one line? Okay, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Hey, my man trying to eat. Now, the first time I met you, you didn't have a Twitter account. You were playing JV ball. You were still a little guy. Now you've grown and you got these college offers. What is your Twitter handle officially? Um, I think it's at Caden Calloway. He thinks.